not just one lion, but the two sausage tree pride lionesses. And then, of course, the youngsters that go with it. But um, this is actually quite nice because that's the first time that I've seen this young fella that's walking off to the right. His shaggy mane is just starting to develop. Aren't they beautiful? Right, let me reposition because I'm just trying to figure out where they're going. The other lioness moved off. I hope they're not going into the drainage line. That's going to make it difficult for us. Right, go around quickly. Let's see. Ah, I don't know if they caught something. If they did, it probably would have been something small. Maybe a young zebra. Let's see, I think they are going into these lugger systems now. Actually, I want to just show you. So look at all the... Oh, park, sorry, let me go back because now I've parked on the termite mound. Or we'll just do that. Look at the hot air balloons and the zebras in the distance. Now they're watching the lions. They know that they're here. That's actually how we figured out that they were lions. We knew the area that they were in. But we couldn't quite sort of find them. We took our off-road track from last night to try and get to the last spot. And they've come back to exactly where we first found them yesterday afternoon. So they're not hiding themselves from the zebra, not at all. See, there's another lioness. Please don't go down into the drainage lines line because then we can't view. Oh, there's the other one sitting right on the top of the termite mound. I've just spotted her. I only thought I could only see one lioness to start off with. Here we go, just to the right. Perfect. There she is. He's watching. Heather, you're wondering if the big cats are bothered by the muddy terrain. Uh, no, I don't think so. Not so much. I think it must make it a bit difficult if they are chasing after prey and it's on a road of some sort because then the ground is quite sort of sloshy. Got a big yawn from her. And uh, they can slip and slide. But again, they could work into their favor with regards to trying to catch um, some prey because they might slip and slide and do exactly the same thing. And I was talking about this the other day. If... Zebras are being chased, or wildebeests are being chased by lions, and they slip and fall. Well, unfortunately, they'll probably be the end of whichever species of animal that's slipped through the ground. Those lions will catch them, but let's keep up with them. We'll go up a little bit further. I'm happy to see them again. I'm really enjoying spending time with this um, with this pride. And I think let's let's see. So one of the older cubs we now know is a male, definitely a male. Let's see if we can't sex the other three cubs and just have a little look around. I haven't seen all of them just yet this morning, so I wonder if they might maybe having a siesta a bit further down. Or I wonder, where did this male come from? I can't remember seeing him with him yesterday. I don't know. Let's wait. Before we say anything more, let's find the rest of the pride. Now, Aurelia, you're wondering how far off can a lion smell a carcass? You know, it's very difficult to answer questions like that just because I don't know how someone would really test that. I think it depends on a number of different things. How old the carcass is, is there wind that's blowing this rotting scent in their direction? Are there also other elements that could help the lions, you know, potentially figure out that there was a carcass? Are there vultures in the sky? Are there jackals running around? Are there hyenas hanging around? So I don't think it's just them necessarily just smelling a carcass. I think it could be a number of different things, but I don't know but I reckon it's quite far away. Their sense of smell is unbelievable. I'm now confused. Are you the two lionesses we had yesterday or are you another two lionesses? Because I don't see any of the cubs. I just see the solder, the solder fella. Maybe, remember how I was saying to you that, I, that I've been reading that there are supposed to be five cubs? I wonder if this isn't a two, two more lionesses of the sausage tree pride. And perhaps this is the fifth older cub, but um, I mean, he's not particularly young. He looks like he's almost a year and a half old. Oh my goodness, the hot air balloon is going right above us. Can we, get, can we look at the hot air balloon very quickly? Is it, look at the lion, he's looking at it. Look how it's going right over the top of us. <laughs> That's so cool. We're waving. That's amazing. Now, the lions actually didn't seem to be too bothered by the sound of the hot air balloon. I suppose the animals that live along these river systems get used to the fact that there are hot air balloons every single day. 
Now, Will, a common question of the last few days, you're wondering at what age do lions develop their manes? It's, you can normally start to see a male from about six months. You start to see a little bit of a fluffy chest, and obviously it grows and grows as they get on. But um, you can see it almost a year and a half old. Uh, you can see quite clearly long strands of hair underneath his chin. Um, so, so I would say from about six, six months old, you start to see the fluffiness. But then again, you, you can start, if you're struggling to identify, you can just look for the other bits. Look at them getting running now. They're very playful this morning. So I think that's what's happened here. I think these are maybe a, two other lionesses of the sausage tree pride, which is quite exciting. Wonder where the others have gone. Because they were around here. Maybe they've picked up on their scent and they're trying to trace them again, but I know they went that way. But uh, Jahawi and I were talking about how amazing it is that the lions, if they're unsuccessful, they go back to the same spot that they were laying in, which I think is amazing. We don't really see the, leopard, the li leopards, the lions of the Sabi sand doing that. Their behavior is slightly different. So we'll follow them and we will see where they take us. They, like I said, they don't look particularly full. They look like they've eaten something, maybe a little, little taster, but they could do with a decent meal. Hello, girl, you are beautiful. She's watching those zebra. I'm just going to get in front of them because we know they're going to come around this way. This is so cool. You know what we need to do is I'm going to ask a favor from all of you. Please, can you take screenshots of these lionesses' faces? Um, we need to be able to identify that entire pride. And I haven't got pictures of all of the lionesses, so we'll we'll try and go around again. But if you can, if, the, if you see anything in particular, uh, sort of identifying features, that would be great. They're just walking in front of the car now, hugging the lugger, the drainage line. We're still creeping up on some zebra, but the zebra know they're here. They haven't been sneaky about their presence, but maybe they're gonna use the drainage system, walk all the way around. And um, maybe they're going to try and catch some zebra, but who knows? We'll, we'll keep following them. Let's keep following them. I would like to find the others, though, and just figure out exactly. Maybe they're going to meet up. Oh, no, don't do that. Don't go on the other side of the drainage line. Joe, you're wondering how many hours a day do lions sleep? Uh, lots, <laughs> up to 18 to 20 hours, but that depends on their activities. Obviously, if they've been racing around trying to catch some prey, uh, they're going to sleep for a little bit longer. If they don't, if they've been resting up, you know, unsuccessful, I suppose they use quite a bit of energy as well. So they, they do need to recover. So you'll hear a lot of people say lions are lazy, and trust me, lions can definitely be lazy, especially at this time of the year when there's so much food around. You know, they're not having to really put too much effort into stalking the animals. Um, so, but it is important for them to conserve energy because if they spend their days running around, they're not going to have any energy in their reserve tanks to try and catch these animals. But I'm going to go around and see if I can get another view of these lions. They're on the other side of the drainage line. I'm going to send you back into my dear friend Tristan's car.